the Bank of Japan intends to maintain easy monetary policy and the government's energy assistance program will hold down inflation, the central bank's governor told a news conference at a G20 event on Thursday. The governor expects inflation to be below 2% for fiscal 2023 and fiscal 2024, adding that Japan is no longer in a deflationary environment. The incoming Bank of Japan chief recent comments was less than hawkish, adding to the forgiven monetary policy. So if Japan isn't going to raise interest rates while every other major central bank in the world is raising rates, that should weaken the yen against all other um, currencies. However, let's go to the charts to see if that's going to be the case. So we're going to start off with the monthly chart. And let's see, I believe this is the all-time lows. Yeah, that is the all-time lows. Okay, so you can see on a, on a macro level, price breaking this multi-year uptrend line back in March of 2021 and it's been straight down from here. Now we are experiencing a pullback potentially potentially for the next leg down. Potentially in the process of making new all-time lows. Right off the back, I can see price hit a monthly zone where there were monthly buyers. Uh, sorry, monthly sellers. Zero zero seven eight zero zero zero. Let's just say that. And this is kind of expected. So this monthly candle, we'll see if this was based on the news from this past week. All right, let's go to the weekly chart. Okay, so this is this week's candle. So the news caused the drop in this week's candle. But you can see selling happen back in early January. You could also say, you know, good trade trade setup would have been to get short in monthly in a monthly seller's zone at the break of the short-term uptrend line. Okay, so if price is going to go down even further, where's an opportunity to hop on? Again, fundamentally, we're going to assume that the yen is going to get weaker against the US dollar uh, because rates are continuing to increase. Like I said, yen is going to be weaker against all other currencies. All right. So where would you go? How can you hop on to get short? Because there's more room to fall. We could even see a retest of the all-time lows. Let's go to the daily chart.
just looking at the volume and, and the various candles. Yeah, I think we can go down. I'm going to say this is the target. Target uh, 0, 0.00. We'll just say 68800. Potentially a nice area on a pullback to get short might be at this resistance support. Have a break of this zone here. You could see how price declined came back, right? Nipped the zone and now it's and now it's reacting to the downside. Price is also hitting this two hundred day moving average. So I would anticipate a bounce. Even if the two hundred day moving average is breached, the hundred day moving average is serving as support. So you might get another opportunity to get short on a pullback. I would not short here. At a minimum, if we see a breach of the 200 and the 100 simple moving average, then these moving averages are going to serve as a ceiling or resistance. So potentially, if we see further declines, a pull back into resistance to take a short. Either way, the target is going to be down here at the 0 0.00688. Until next time.